Hi, it's Stan Phelps. Let's break down the biggest myth of communication. And the biggest myth of communication is what? It's merely the, the illusion that it has actually taken place. So to make this fun, I want to play a game with you that we all probably played as kids. It's called Two Truths and a Lie. And if you're not familiar with how it works, it's simple. We're going to do it about speaking and presenting. I'm going to share three things, two of which you can believe. And one of these three statements is going to be what? It's going to be the lie. And you have to be able to spot which one is the lie. Ready to jump into it? Simply this. All right, number one. First statement, the fear of speaking and presenting is greater than what? The fear of dying, right? More people fear speaking and presenting than they do dying. Number two, and it's a quote by Mark Twain. Mark Twain said, there's only two types of speakers. He said basically this, he says, those that are nervous and those that are liars. Number three, here's the thing. We all have to realize some people are just born a presenter. They have the natural skill. They have the gift of the gab. They're good on stage and it just comes to them naturally. In fact, for some people, they are just born with what? a silver tongue. So let's, bre let's break this down. There was three things. I'll review each of the three things. I want you to figure out which one is the lie. Here's the thing. First one, the fear of speaking and presenting is actually greater than the fear of dying. Two, Mark Twain quote, only two types of speakers, the nervous and the liars. And number three, some people are born presenters and they have a silver tongue. All right, which one is it? Let's break them out, break them down in order, starting with number one. The fear of presenting is actually greater than the fear of what? Dying. And that is a truth. 74% of people say that they're afraid of speaking and presenting, that's actually greater than those that say that they're afraid of dying. Does this make any sense whatsoever? Absolutely not. In fact, Jerry Seinfeld has an entire bit about this because if you think about it, that means to the average person, if they go to a funeral, that they'd rather be in the casket than giving the eulogy. I mean, that's crazy. All right, how about the Mark Twain quote? He said, there's only two types of people, those that are nervous and those that are liars. That is also truth, right? The same part of our brain that detects threats to our actual lives is the same part of our brain that detects threats to our identity. We can't tell the difference between an actual threat to our life and limb, and merely a threat to our identity. Now, I don't know of anyone who's literally died while speaking and presenting, maybe figuratively died, but look, um, everyone is nervous. I've given hundreds of presentations. There's not a time that I've ever went out on the stage and not been nervous. So get over yourself, we're all nervous. Number three, and you figured it out already because the first two are truths. Some people are born a presenter. That is a lie. No one was born presenting. In fact, no one was even born that's listening to this talking. Just like talking, presenting is a learned skill. So do me a favor, if you run into anyone who 
tells you, look, I am just a natural presenter. I can guarantee you something. They are lying to you. Now, this is the central premise of the latest book in the Goldfish series. It's called The Silver Goldfish. And here's the thing. It's all about the idea that you can, be get, you can become better as a presenter. And it really comes down to just two things if you want to elevate the experience that you provide. One, you have to be loud, meaning you have to rise above distractions. And two, you have to be clear and organize your material and your message in a way that it becomes memorable. And I would challenge everyone that's listening to this right now, as all of us have to present more and more virtually, the stakes have risen to become a better presenter. But the good news is it's a skill that we can all develop and become much, much better at. Are you being loud and clear when you present? 